I had a tenant in this house here who was a very terrible person. This is the house where they found the Poughkeepsie tapes. Approximately 800 videotapes filmed by serial killer Edward Carver were uncovered by authorities during a 2007 search of an abandoned home in Poughkeepsie, New York. These recordings captured a full account of Carver's killings. They were captured in full from the moment of abduction all the way until the grisly end. Despite the abundance of evidence, Carver is careful enough to not appear on camera in any of these tapes. When he is on camera, he is often seen wearing a mask, concealing his identity. This prompts law enforcement to look into both his movements and the relation that he could have had with his victims. The brutal killing of his initial victim, an eight-year-old girl whom he kidnapped, assaulted, and killed, is captured on the first tape. Carver gets more careful once his first crime is successful. He gets a ride from a couple, the Andersons, before clubbing the man and using chloroform to subdue the wife. Carver can then be seen later on using sign language to indicate where the bodies are in the surveillance video from another gas station. Cheryl Dempsey, a teenager, becomes Carver's second victim. Victoria, Cheryl's mom, makes a public plea to her captor on television. Carver visits her and offers to assist while simultaneously filming her. He laughs maniacally as she slowly realizes that he is the man responsible for kidnapping her daughter. Wait. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I play that moment in my head over and over again. I knew it was him, and I didn't stop him because I was scared. As public awareness of this serial killer continues to grow, Carver begins to change up his strategy and begins preying on sex workers. This earns him the moniker of the Water Street Butcher. And now, in actuality, what I just told you is the plot to a fictional documentary. None of these events actually happened. They were all actors. I'm sorry for the misdirection. I just felt it was kind of a cool cold open. The film is called The Poughkeepsie Tapes, and it is, in my opinion, one of the most terrifying and disturbing films ever made. It's structured like a documentary, or rather, I guess it would be a mockumentary. It's kind of similar to what you would see on Netflix today with true crime documentaries. And this presentation really works because it feels so real and authentic. It masterfully blends found footage with these interviews, news reports, and crime scene photography. As a result, it just feels like it isn't fictional, ultimately selling the horror a lot more. The meticulous attention to detail just honestly sells this film more than anything. The interviews feel so real, like this isn't an actor, this is a cop talking about how precise this killer was. This man is what we call a mixed killer. He plots and hides his crimes in an organized manner, but he mutilates and does, well, let's say, similar things with the bodies that a disorganized killer would do. And I didn't even go into full detail on the brutality of what the villain or the, I guess, the serial killer of this film does because, well, I kind of want it to stay on YouTube. The footage itself is actually presented as if it was really shot by the killer himself. These sadistic acts are shown unfiltered and unapologetically. There isn't a cutaway to a different scene right before something horrific happens. They just show it to you. The use of camcorders and this grainy VHS aesthetic for what the killer filmed just adds to it even more. I know that for some of the older Gen Z people like myself, there's a level of fear and nostalgia that comes with VHS. You see, we were born at a time when VHS was kind of going the way of the dinosaurs and DVD was slowly taking over, but we still have a vague memory of VHS. It's almost been mystified in a way to the point where it feels like a relic from the past, which it is. But I guess what I'm getting at is having it be this old grainy footage gives it this feeling of bordering on being analog horror in a weird way, which it really isn't. It's honestly a film like no other. I guess the closest comparison could maybe be This Is Spinal Tap meets The Blair Witch Project, where it's a mockumentary that's found footage. That's actually a terrible comparison. I don't even know what I'm talking about. For the most part, the film features an unknown cast. There aren't really any big stars here, and that helps sell the realism even more. A lot of the time, these actors are perfectly portraying the grief 
and trauma that a victim of these type of events would give off in these type of interviews. Getting these first-hand accounts or primary sources of these killings just sells it even more. I like the idea of a documentary about a fictional event and playing it off as if it's real. But that being said, this film does have some of the same tropes that a lot of found footage movies kind of have, and that does sort of break the immersion and make you go, hmm, this might not be real. I do wish, though, that I could rewatch this movie for the first time, believing that it's real, because it is terrifying. It really is. I almost feel bad making this video because I'm kind of ruining it for people that haven't seen it yet and are watching this. The Poughkeepsie Tapes is not for the faint of heart. It delves into graphic and disturbing subject matter that goes really far in a few places. Again, I can't show it because this is YouTube, so feel free to go out and search it for yourself. The film meticulously explores the depths of human depravity and the horrors that can exist within a society. Okay, we live in a society, God damn it. The film's true strength lies in its ability to create an unsettling psychological impact on the viewer. It generates an atmosphere of unease, constantly toying with the audience's emotions and leaving a lasting impression long after the credits roll. The Poughkeepsie Tapes is an underrated horror gem that deserves way more recognition. It effectively uses the found footage format and the documentary format in a way that is just so mind-blowingly genius. The film has been subject to a lot of controversy over the years, not even being released on physical media for a very long time, but if you can find it, it's worth it. It may not be for everyone, but a found footage horror film that has this much commitment to realism deserves to be seen by horror fans. But I want to know, what do you think? Have you seen it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know down below in the comments. I'm Cole McCormick. You're watching Firewood Media. Thank you so much for watching. I'll make you a deal. You can live as long as you don't blink. <laughs>